Well, EVs are everywhere these days, and now rental car company Hertz is getting in the game. They've announced a new partnership with the city of Denver, which will bring more than 5,000 rental electric vehicles and a network of new charging stations. It's part of the city's push to dramatically reduce greenhouse gas emissions. As Denver 7's Rob Harris shows us, it comes as more Coloradans are making the switch on their own. Keys, here we go. All right, buddy. This brand new Ford F-150 Lightning is far from Bonnie Trowbridge's first electric vehicle. Okay, yep. good boy. She's been on the EV bandwagon for more than a decade, and she's been collecting other converts along the way. Started driving an EV as soon as I could afford one, <laughs> which was in 2008. You know, the whole family has gone EV since then. Trowbridge has now made it her professional mission to help fellow Coloradans make the switch to EVs. She serves as the executive director of Drive Clean Colorado, which works to educate interested buyers. This is what we do all day every day is talk to people about EVs. What are the common concerns you hear okay. from someone as they're thinking about buying an EV? Okay, so common concerns are where am I going to charge it? Is can I afford it? Um, am I going to and we get a lot of questions about people saying, can I take a road trip in it? So we talk with people about, you know, all of that kind of stuff. The city of Denver has set a goal to reduce carbon emissions 80% by 2050 and growing our use of EVs is a core pillar of that plan. Hertz is jumping on board with the plan and has announced a partnership with the city that will bring up to 5,200 rental EVs for customers and rideshare drivers and more charging stations throughout the Denver area, prioritizing the airport and neighborhoods. Those will be in addition to the more than 4,000 charging stations already in place across the state. That's a, a really um, important step forward for the city and the state. What are the stakes for us? There's a lot at stake. There's children's health. There's, you know, all of our health. There is our beautiful mountains, and I think people in Colorado tend to be very um, forward thinking. So electric vehicles make sense. For Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris. And there are some pretty nice perks come tax time to owning an electric vehicle. So let's dig into those numbers. Starting this year, all Coloradans are eligible for a $2,000 tax credit on EV purchases. And then when accounting for the federal tax credit, EV buyers could be eligible for up to $9,500 in tax credit. And looking closer at EVs in Colorado, I spent some time tonight on the Colorado Energy Office's EV dashboard. I found more than 10,000 electric vehicles purchased or leased between June and October of last year and as of January 7th of this year there were 72,840 EVs on the road in Colorado and more than 4,600 charging ports available in the state. But we do know that finding a charging port can sometimes be inconvenient. I found a useful option for EV owners trying to find a free option. The company PlugShare offers a map of known charging infrastructure along with a bevy of helpful information. You can filter search options by plug type, kilowatts, and on-site amenities like dining or Wi-Fi. You can find more information on PlugShare.com. There's also a mobile app for travelers on the go.